Introducing the Mod Squad, a groundbreaking TV series from the late 1960s that broke barriers and captivated audiences with its fresh take on crime drama. The show follows three young undercover detectives, each with their own troubled pasts, working to infiltrate the counterculture of the era and bring justice to the streets. As you delve into it, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be uncovered, so keep watching for more. Are there any lesser known anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Feel free to share your thoughts below. Now, as you reminisce about it, we'd love to hear about your most memorable experience related to this show. Share your stories and memories in the comments below and let's keep the nostalgia alive. In the late 1960s, an influential TV series emerged, capturing the essence of a changing time. Imagine a show with a diverse trio, each with their own background, working as undercover agents to tackle society's challenges. This was The Mod Squad, a series that entertained and reflected the changes happening around it. Set against the lively backdrop of the late 60s, The Mod Squad connected with audiences for its portrayal of counterculture and societal issues. The story followed three young individuals, each facing personal struggles, coming together under the guidance of Captain Adam Greer. Pete Cochran, a former troublemaker, Julie Barnes, a runaway with a troubled past, and Link Hayes, a Vietnam War veteran devoted to justice, formed an unusual yet effective team. The significance of the Mod Squad lies in its departure from typical crime dramas. The show tackled social problems like racism, drug abuse, and conflicts between generations. Its characters, navigating a challenging period in American history, became relatable symbols of change for viewers. The Mod Squad's influence went beyond entertainment. It mirrored the diverse challenges of its time. The show's exploration of counterculture and its acceptance of diversity made it more than just a crime drama, it became a cultural touchstone. As audiences immersed themselves in the engaging stories and empathized with the struggles of the characters, the show proved the power of storytelling to reflect and shape societal views. It left a lasting impression on television history. In conclusion, The Mod Squad remains a significant and impactful series that went beyond traditional crime dramas. Through its engaging stories and relatable characters, it not only entertained but also sparked discussions about the important issues of its era. The TV series Mod Squad, created by former Los Angeles police officer Buddy Ruskin, drew inspiration from his experiences with a special LAPD youth squad. Peggy Lipton, known for her role in the series, coincidentally shared a connection with her daughter Rashida Jones, who shot her own series, Angie Tribeca, on the same soundstage used for Mod Squad. Following the passing of Clarence Williams III in 2021, Michael Cole stands as the sole surviving cast member. Mod Squad's unique premise and characters resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on television history. The Woody, a 1950 Mercury wood paneled station wagon, met its demise in an episode titled The Death of Wild Bill Hanischek. At the episode's conclusion, the squad bids farewell to their old buddy as it burns, with Link delivering the memorable line, Goodbye, old paint. In the reunion movie, The Return of Mod Squad, Pete, now wealthy, purchases a Woody as the trio reunites to tackle their mission. Peggy Lipton later appeared in Twin Peaks, which featured its own group of teenage sleuths. Clarence Williams III also made a guest appearance on the show. In a 1995 interview with Terry Gross on the national public radio program Fresh Air, Clarence Williams III humorously remarked on the predictable nature of some mod squad plots. He noted that certain themes recurred when writers faced difficulties, such as episodes involving police commissioners' complaints about the young squad's activities. Additionally, when budgets were tight, episodes often revolved around murders at theatrical studios, allowing filming on the lot without requiring location shoots. The squad would then assume undercover roles to solve the cases. When the series premiered, he was 29, Cole was 23, and Lipton was 22. Clarence Williams, Roman III, Michael Cole, and Tyg Andrews were the core trio, gracing the screen together in all 123 episodes. Peggy Lipton, an integral part of the ensemble, showcased her talent in every installment save for a mere two. Interestingly, Michael Cole stands out as the sole member of the quartet who didn't come from New York City. The dynamic between them, both on and off the screen, undoubtedly contributed to the show's lasting popularity. Crafted with a blend of raw energy and magnetic charm, their performances held audiences' attention, securing the Mod Squad's place in television history as a memorable series. 
Indeed, the chemistry among the cast members brought the show to life, engaging audiences with its mix of crime-fighting action and social commentary. The Mod Squad wasn't just about solving crimes, it reflected the changing cultural landscape of the time, addressing issues that deeply resonated with viewers. It's clear that the show's continuing popularity speaks to its lasting impact on audiences, both old and new. The story of the Mod Squad lives on, highlighting the enduring power of compelling storytelling and memorable characters. Edward Asner, known for his role in Mod Squad, had a circle of friends within the entertainment industry, including Mary Tyler Moore, Gavin McLeod, Betty White, Dick Van Dyke, Peter Fonda, Gordon Jump, Ed Begley Jr., Rosie O'Donnell, Matthew Modine, and Dylan McDermott. Michael Cole, another actor from the series, married Paula Kelly Jr., whose parents were members of the Modern Heirs. The couple had a daughter named Jennifer Holly Cole in 1972. The Chrysler Corporation supplied vehicles for the show. In the late 1960s, a TV series emerged with a memorable closing scene. At the end of each episode, the camera gracefully pulls back, capturing the Mod Squad as they stride off in one direction. The simple yet memorable visual became synonymous with the show. Peggy Lipton, known for her role as Julie Barnes in the show, remains well remembered. Her character, brought to life by Lipton, became a notable part of the series, contributing to its lasting impact. Following the passing of Clarence Williams III on June 4, 2021, Michael Cole stands as the sole surviving regular cast member. His connection to the show endures, serving as a link to the past for fans. These elements collectively showcase the lasting impact of the show, from its memorable closing scenes to the impressions left by cast members like Peggy Lipton and Michael Cole. The show's significance remains even as time passes. Michael Cole is widely remembered for his role as Pete Cochran in the television series Mod Squad. The show, known for its counterculture themes, aired in the late 1960s. It followed the adventures of three young adults, including Pete, who were recruited as undercover cops. Mod Squad was a pioneering show tackling social issues of the era such as race relations and youth rebellion. It gained significant popularity during its run. Additionally, the series was parodied in Mad Magazine as Odd Squad, showcasing its impact on popular culture. Michael Cole's portrayal of Pete Cochran resonated with audiences, making him a recognizable figure in television history. In the 1968 TV series Mod Squad, there were some sad events behind the scenes. One of them was the death of actor Clarence Williams Roman III, who played Link Hayes in the show. He was known for his strong presence on screen, but struggled with personal problems like substance abuse. His passing in 2021 marked the end of an era for the show. Mod Squad was a groundbreaking series about three young undercover cops, Pete, Julie, and Link, dealing with the counterculture of the late 1960s and early 1970s. It was one of the first shows with a racially diverse cast addressing social issues of the time. Williams' portrayal of Link was powerful and brought authenticity to the character. His charisma and unique approach to the role left a lasting impression. However, his personal struggles mirrored the turbulent times depicted in the show. Despite being entertaining, Mod Squad reminds us of the real-life challenges faced by those involved in the show. Clarence Williams' M.I.'s death adds a poignant layer to the story, highlighting the harsh realities of the television industry. To sum up, the 1968 TV show Mod Squad was marked by the untimely death of Clarence Williams' Roman III, adding a sad note to its history. The series, known for its groundbreaking approach and social commentary, remains an important part of television history. The 1968 TV series Mod Squad, a groundbreaking show of its time, faced a shocking tragedy. Peggy Lipton, who portrayed Julie Barnes, struggled behind the scenes with personal challenges. Despite her success on screen, she battled with feelings of isolation and insecurity. Her journey mirrored the struggles of her character, bringing an unexpected layer of authenticity to the show. Her internal struggles were not apparent to the audience, making her eventual triumph even more poignant. The stark contrast between her public image and private battles adds a layer of sadness to the show's narrative. It serves as a reminder that even those who seem to have it all may be silently fighting their own demons. In the face of personal adversity, Peggy Lipton continued to deliver a compelling performance as Julie Barnes, contributing to the show's success. Her ability to channel her inner struggles into her character's portrayal showcases the resilience of individuals in the entertainment industry. 
Despite the challenges she faced, Mod Squad remains a significant piece of television history, breaking barriers and addressing real-life issues through its characters. The unexpected personal journey of Peggy Lipton, intertwined with the success of the show, adds a layer of depth to its legacy. It reflects the challenges faced by individuals behind the scenes, emphasizing the importance of empathy and understanding in the entertainment industry. In conclusion, the 1968 TV series, though remembered for its trailblazing nature, also harbors a somber undertone due to the personal struggles of one of its main cast members. The fusion of reality and fiction in her life and portrayal of Julie Barnes highlights the complexities that often go unnoticed in the world of entertainment. Mob Squad stands not only as a pioneering show, but also as a testament to the resilience of those who bring stories to life on the screen. The 1968 TV series Mod Squad had its share of tragedy behind the scenes. One of the saddest aspects involves the fate of Ty Andrews, who played Captain Adam Greer. He struggled with health issues during the show's run, including heart problems. Tragically, he passed away in 2007, leaving behind his work on the show. The show broke new ground on television by featuring a trio of young, hip crime fighters who were also juvenile delinquents turned undercover cops. It tackled social issues of the time, such as racism, drugs, and counterculture, reflecting the turbulent atmosphere of the late 1960s and early 1970s. The main characters, Pete, Link, and Julie, were portrayed by Michael Cole, Clarence Williams Roman III, and Peggy Lipton, respectively. Their chemistry and dynamic performances helped to make it a hit with audiences. Despite its popularity, it faced criticism for its portrayal of law enforcement and its sometimes sensationalized storylines. However, its influence on television storytelling and representation cannot be denied. In conclusion, Mod Squad remains a notable entry in television history, remembered for its groundbreaking approach and the talented ensemble cast. 